want us to find the exact average value of f of x equals 6x minus x squared over the closed interval from 0 to 5. When the closed interval is from a to b, the average value is equal to 1 divided by the quantity b minus a times the definite integral from a to b of f of x dx, which means in our case, the average value of the given function over the closed interval from 0 to 5, which we'll call f sub average, is equal to 1 divided by the quantity 5 minus 0 times the integral from 0 to 5 of f of x, which is 6x minus x squared dx. Let's go ahead and simplify. We have 1 fifth and then the antiderivative of 6x minus x squared is 6 times x squared divided by 2 minus x cubed divided by 3. The limits of integration are from 0 to 5. Let's go ahead and simplify the antiderivative. 6 divided by 2 is 3, giving us 3x squared minus, let's write this as 1 third x cubed. And now we determine big F of five minus big F of zero, which gives us one fifth times the quantity. Big F of five is three times the square of five minus one third times the cube of five minus big F of zero, which is going to be zero, but to show the work we have three times the square of zero minus one third times the cube of zero. But again, this quantity here is zero because we have a factor of zero in each product. Simplifying further, we have one-fifth times, three times the square of five is three times 25 or 75, minus one-third times the cube of five. The cube of five is 125, giving us minus 125 thirds. Continuing to simplify, we have one-fifth times the quantity, 75 is equal to 225 thirds. And 225 thirds minus 125 thirds is 100 thirds, giving us 1 fifth times 100 thirds. Here we can simplify before multiplying. There's 1 five and five and 25's in 100. The exact average value of f of x over the closed interval from zero to five is 20 thirds. To add some meaning to this value, I've graphed f of x over the closed interval from zero to five on the coordinate plane Let's locate 20 thirds on the vertical axis. 20 thirds is six and two thirds, which is approximately here. From here, if we sketch a rectangle over the closed interval from zero to five with a height of 20 thirds, it would look like this. And the area of this rectangle with a height of 20 thirds over the closed interval from zero to five is exactly equal to the area bounded by the function and the x-axis over the same closed interval, meaning this area here. I hope you found this helpful.